parabola. So we're going to graph the parabola by plotting five points in a T table, an X, Y coordinate pairs, and then uh, just connecting them. So with a parabola of this particular form, there's no shifting that's occurred. So with the X squared, with no subtraction or anything like that, and no addition or subtraction after the X squared, we are going to plot in the numbers zero, and then we're going to choose two numbers above zero, like one and two, and then we're going to choose two numbers below zero, like negative one and negative two. Okay, first of all, replace x with negative two, and that's going to yield negative one-fourth, negative two squared, which is negative one-fourth multiplied by four, and that's equal to negative one. So negative two gives us an output of negative one. Next, negative one. If we place in negative one, we get negative one-fourth, <clears throat> negative one squared, which would be negative one-fourth multiplied by one, which would be equal to negative one-fourth. So negative one-fourth. Next, replace x with zero, negative one-fourth, zero squared equals negative one-fourth multiplied by zero, and that's equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> you can try to do the other ones on your own if you would like, but it turns out that because of the squaring, the x is being squared, negatives and positives are going to yield the exact same number. This is, can also be seen in the symmetry of the parabola if you've seen graphs of parabolas in the past. So as opposed to doing them manually, sticking them in on my own, I'm going to understand the symmetry of the graph and say that one's also going to be negative one-fourth, and that one's going to be negative one, with the zero, zero being the vertex in the middle. So then coming over to the graph, we're going to have zero, zero. We're going to move out two spots on the x-axis in both directions. We're going to go up one spot on the y and now graph the points negative 2 comma negative 1 negative 1 comma negative 1 fourth whoops negative 2 comma negative 1 negative 1 comma negative 1 fourth 0 0 1 negative 1 fourth and 2 negative 1 so therefore the parabola would look like this and we can see that we have a sad-faced parabola opening downwards, and uh, that's the graph. So why don't you try one on your own here? Come over to y equals negative 5 fourths x squared, plot yourself mm, about five points, and then see if you get a graph that looks like mine. And I'm going to do it here myself. I'm going to start off the same sort of way. Since this one is also uh, just a y equals ax squared form, just a number times x squared, I'm going to have 0 as a central value, and then I'm going to go 2 above and 2 beyond, and then I'm going to stick in the numbers that are located over here into the rule. 0 is going to yield 0, because 0 squared is 0, and this all simplifies to be 0. When you plug in the number positive 1, 1 squared is 1, so I'm going to get negative 5 fourths, and due to symmetry, I'm also going to get negative 5 fourths here, so I'm going to fill them both in. 2, well, 2 squared is 4, 4 and the 4 in the denominator will cancel out, and so hopefully what you got was just a negative 5, and as before, I'll replace that in both 2 and negative 2's place. So it looks this time like I'm going to have to go out 2 on the x-axis, and I'm going to have to go down 5 on the y-axis, and we'll plot the points. Left 2, down 5 left one down five fourths, so a little bit over one, zero, zero, and then the symmetric ones over the y-axis to negative five, and therefore the graph will end up looking like that. <laughs>